Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and today I'm going to be doing a full face of Glossier products. I am so freaking excited to announce that this video is actually sponsored by Glossier, but all the opinions are my own. I've been using some of the products for a couple weeks now and some of the other products are going to be my first impressions. I'm going to be including my top six favorite products from Glossier at the end of this video. So if you guys are watching this video to find out what you absolutely must buy from Glossier, feel free to skip to the end of the video but I will say all these products are so good it was really really hard for me to narrow it down so if you guys are new to the brand I highly recommend watching the whole video just to see all the products that they do have all right y'all let's get started I have so many products to share with you all and I know this video is gonna be long already so I'm gonna try to get through the products quickly so the first product we are going to try is a face mask this one is called the Moisturizing Moon Mask. It is a soothing face treatment. So it says apply a thick layer to moist skin and allow to soak in for 20 minutes. I am gonna get started on this and then I might not wait the full 20 minutes, um, but I'll try to wait at least 15 so we can you know, see how it really sinks into the skin. I really love using brushes to apply face masks because I definitely feel like it can apply it more evenly. So you can use like an old makeup brush or anything you have really lying around. So my face is super duper dry. So that's why I did pick out the moisturizing face mask. I know that they have another one. I'm not sure what it does, um, but if you are more oily, maybe you could check that one out too. So I'm gonna wait up to 20 minutes, rinse it off, come back and let you guys know how it feels. So I actually went the full 20 minutes and a little bit over. Um, and I just rinsed the mask off. It was kind of hard to wash off just because it almost felt like a jelly on my face So I feel like if I used like a washcloth it totally would have been like came off way faster But I was just using my hand. I can tell that my skin feels a lot smoother And when I was looking in the mirror, I noticed that it also looked a little bit more even like just the color so next we're going to go into a serum this is the Glossier Super Glow Vitamin C Magnesium Serum. This says it brightens and energizes dull, tired skin. I feel like I need this because I woke up super early today. I'm gonna rub that on my skin. The next one is definitely in my top five favorites. This is the Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. If you guys are Black Friday shopping, you definitely need to pick this up, especially if you are super dry. And honestly, if you are a little bit oily, it just gives you a really nice glow. So you could probably use it too. And it's just beautiful packaging. We're gonna apply this all over the face. It feels so good. So now that that is done, we are going to get into Dang, this might be another top five favorite of mine. Um, I haven't used this too many times, but the times that I've tried this, it is amazing. It's just their rich cream. So it's just a really, really thick face cream and it smells so freaking good. So the next product I have is the bomb.com. I've been hearing so many good things about this. I've been using these for the past week and I really, really like them. I mean, my lips literally need hydration every like two to three hours and some people don't even have to wear chapstick like at all during the day but i'm one of those people that have chapsticks and little lip balms like everywhere so i got two so i can have one in my purse and then just like one in my house or like one in the car or something um i got the mintbomb.com and the mangobomb.com mints obviously just mint super normal and the mango it smells like those high chew candies if you guys know what I mean. So the first thing I like to do in my makeup routine is brows. I like to get it over with because it just takes so long and I have to be so precise. So I have the brow fleck in brown. I didn't want to get it in black just because I didn't know if it would be too harsh. So I just went with a brown and then I have the boy brow in black. Um, and we're gonna go in with the brow fleck first. I like to start at the arches and just fill those in then I go under the arch and fill that in and I'm just doing like super tiny strokes because that is the best way to apply this product Next, I'm gonna go in with boy brow, and this just helps to keep your brows in place throughout the whole day, because I know some of my hairs can go a little crazy sometimes, so 
we're just gonna brush this through pretty lightly. I kind of like brushing my eyebrows a little bit up just to get like that more natural look. My brows might look a little bit dark right now, but it's gonna get better when I start applying more makeup, especially mascara. So this product is the Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've had this product for about like a month now, and I think I probably only used it once to try it out. Um, it's a great product, but it's just so hard for me to remember to put sunscreen on, and I know it's super freaking important, so I am going to start making it a habit um, when I do my makeup. and. You know, even when I don't. Some days I don't even leave the house, so I don't know. I just forget, I guess. So now we are actually getting to makeup. The next product is the Stretch Concealer, and I think this color is a little bit too light for me, um, so I definitely could have gone up a shade. This color is G7, so if you guys are my color, maybe get a shade darker. Definitely not my color, and that is what we're gonna use it under so I can hide my dark circles. <laughs> I'm actually just going to apply this to my lids because I feel like this could be a really good eyeshadow primer. So let's just see how this works. I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend all this out because it's just going to be a little bit faster if you do it that way rather than fingers. but anything works. Next we have Glossier's Perfecting Skin Tint and I'm a little bit worried about this. I have tried it once um, but I'm more of a full coverage gal I will say. Um, so anything just like light, lighter coverage, just like a skin tint, a um, BB cream, that all just kind of like worries me. Even though my skin's not that bad but I just feel like whenever I do you know take the time to do my makeup I feel like I want full coverage so I'm gonna try to build it up as much as I can and see how that works I think I'm just gonna use my fingers for this this is in the color G5 and I think this is a really really good match to my skin so if you guys are my color then G5 is the one I feel like I just have to get used to this lighter foundation because I really only need my skin to be like evened out. Um, I feel like that's what I struggle with the most. It's just really just random patches of lightness and darkness. <laughs> this definitely did the job of evening out my skin tone. So I feel like this could be great for people who are beginners at makeup or just don't really need full coverage. If you're younger too, um, I think this would be perfect for y'all. The next product is very, very well known at Glossier and it is the Cloud Paint. This is in the color Storm. I do have the color Dusk. It is more of like a peachy color, but unfortunately it didn't really show up on my skin. So I decided to go with the color Storm this time. I feel like it's super easy to kind of go overboard, especially if you squeeze out a little bit too much of the product. So be careful of that. Definitely make sure you don't put too much on your beauty blender or your fingers. As you can tell, I have a couple of glow spots where I don't want them, so I'm gonna go in with their Wowder, and this is the color G5 through G7. So I'm gonna go in with a brush and just pat away my glow spots. <laughs> now that I'm mattified from the Wowder, I have this little guy, and this is the Lidstar in the color Herb, and I visited the Glossier pop-up here in Austin, Texas. I was captivated by this color. Like, it kind of like looks gold on camera, but it's kind of this green color. It's so freaking pretty, and I just felt like I would never wear it, but I actually tried it out, and it's kind of like more sheer, so it is very wearable. I'm just gonna lay some brown matte colors on my eyelids, and then put herb on my lid. So I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit with a fluffy brush. Just blend the edges a tiny bit. Next we have eyeliner and I have the newest product from Glossier. This is the Pro Tip and I'm obsessed with this. This just feels 
so good when I lay it down on my lid. I can't really explain it. I think it's just like the longer tip and it's a brush tip, not a felt tip. And it's just so good guys. It's very buildable. It doesn't smudge at all. And this is definitely my top five. Um, and then we have the color slide in brown. And this is just a eyeliner pencil. So I think I'm gonna have to go with the pro tip because it's my favorite and because it is kind of just like a more dramatic look. So I think we're gonna go for this one. I decided today's not the day to embarrass myself in front of y'all, so I'm gonna opt out of doing a cat eye, but we are gonna move into mascara. I'm gonna be using the Lash Slick from Glossier. I love ones like this. It just separates your lashes so, so well, and it applies a coat very evenly. I forgot I need to curl my lashes before, and then we can apply the mascara. Next we have highlighters. This one is the Halo Scope and this one is the Night Shine. I feel like everyone talks about the Halo Scope, but I am obsessed with the Night Shine because it's just a little bit more highlighty. And I honestly never really wear highlights, so I am going to swatch it for you guys. Can you see that? Oh yeah, there we go. So that's kind of like a sheer glow. And then the Night Shine is some intense stuff so that's a little bit more intense and so i'm gonna go with the night shine because i feel like i want to be a little bit glowier today this product's really cool because it has like a doe foot applicator and i feel like not many highlights do and right over here and we'll see we'll see what that looks like first and then we can add on to it I think I'm gonna do Halo Scope on my nose. Let's see what this looks like. I don't usually highlight my nose. I mean, like I said, I don't really use highlighter very often. So, just kind of playing around today. Ooh, I kind of like that. Yes, especially because I have not contoured my nose today. So, that is a must. I feel like my nose highlight doesn't look oily at all. It doesn't feel oily. All right, so now is lipstick time. I have Jam and I have Leo, and I'm gonna swatch these for you guys too. I'm sorry I didn't swatch all the other products, but I um, kind of forgot. <laughs> all right, so this is Jam. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, I suck at swatching. <laughs> I did it right over Lip Start. Um, okay, here we go, trying again. There we go, okay. So it is like a sheer lipstick, um, but it does give you that tiny bit of color that brings out like your natural color. So I really like it. Um, and then this one is Leo. Since my skin is brown, it's gonna be a little harder to tell. Oh, you can see it, yay. I love, love, love this color. So I'm gonna go in with Leo today. It is a buildable lipstick because it is sheer, so. You might have to go over your lips a couple of times. Now it is time to set the face, so I'm going to use the Soothing Face Mist in Rose Water Spray and just spray it all over my face. It has a really faint spray, so you kind of have to bring it in a little bit closer. The last thing is probably my all-time favorite Glossier product. This is the Lip Gloss Just In Clear and it is so moisturizing. It's not really like sticky feeling. I don't know how to describe it, I guess, but it is just the perfect finishing touch and I am obsessed with this lip gloss. Sometimes I'll wear this gloss without any lipstick just because I like the look of it. Um, but we are finished with my look. I'm gonna take my hair down. Ooh, look at that highlight. This is my completed look using a full face of Glossier products. And the last thing I want to do is share with you guys my top five favorites of Glossier and things that you have to buy on Black Friday because they're going to have a really, really great sale. And if you're watching this after Black Friday, still get these products because they're that good. Just kidding. It's going to be a top six because I couldn't choose. So the first product, you probably guessed it, is the lip gloss. It is just so good. Like I said, it's not really sticky. It's just so 
moisturizing, and it gives the perfect finishing touch. My second all-time favorite from Glossier is this Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. I feel like I can use this if I'm not really wearing makeup and just have a super beautiful glowing look and also feel moisturized. Speaking of being moisturized, my third favorite is this Priming Moisturizer in Rich. So there are two. There is a buildable hydrating cream and there is Rich and I love Love, love the rich because like I said, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this, but I do have really dry skin. So having a rich cream on my face just really, really helps me out. My fourth favorite is the Pro Tip in Black. This eyeliner is so freaking good. I just feel like this eyeliner was made for me because it just rests on my eyelid so well. I feel like other eyeliner tips are just maybe shorter. I don't know what it is about this eyeliner, but it's just so good. It's very, very black and it doesn't smudge at all. My fifth favorite has to be this Balm.com Skin Solve and it doesn't actually just have to be used for your lips. You can use it really anywhere else that you're really dry. Um, and this is really going to come in handy for the winter months. Last but not least, my sixth favorite is the Boy Brow in Black. I really just enjoy this product because it just keeps my brows in place all freaking day. So that wraps up this video. If you guys live in Austin, the pop-up is still open until December 8th of this year, so get to it. Also, if you guys are interested in any of these products, they will be listed all down below, so you guys can just click the link and shop. And I'll be sure to put more info about the Black Friday sale they're having because y'all don't wanna miss out. Like, if you guys are gonna buy Glossier, buy it on Black Friday because they're gonna have a really, really good sale. That's all I'm saying. I hope y'all enjoyed my full face of Glossier and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!